So this has been a very, very long time coming, but I finally have a place to call home. You see, Vanquish approached me a while back with hopes of a partnership. And after striking a deal with them, I am finally on board the team. They already had a sick foundation of a team with the likes of Harv, Blaze, who is a YouTuber, and Duckettes. So instead of making my own, why not join this and build on top of this strong foundation? Over on Vanquished, we favor a lower rate server similar to that of Small Tribes. The rates we run are 6x with longer wipes and many balance and quality of life changes. My favorite change by far is the fact Magmasaur rushing is banned and so is Noglins. So two of the most OP things are gone already. Also, the first 100 people to join Discord and open a ticket called Blur Starter gets a starter pack today, and you can increase your chances of coming and wiping me before the end. But uh, yeah, sorry for the long intro. I don't really do these anymore, but let's go into the video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the start of this. <laughs> So, as I spawned in for the first time, I was thrown into the deep of it. We were building over on Fjordor Helm's deep base location, which if you remember, I actually built on in small tribes when the servers first dropped. Now, my tribe's motto is quite funny, and you're going to understand why they have this after you see the base. Yeah, to any uh, official player, small tribes player, or anyone who knows how to build bases, this thing is probably giving you eyesores, bro. And my tribe's motto? Well, it's literally just fob up. You see, my tribe, Slasher, Pat, Gun, and Cure, all of them just want one thing, and that is everyone to fob up, to PvP, and to raid as much as they can. So to do this, they build their bases as bad as they can just to make sure people will come and fob them as they have a notorious reputation on Vanquished as being the PVPers. But anyways, to start, they would just kill a bunch of Karkas and other things to level me up to 105 quick. And then we were off to Aberration as I would need Rockwell ASAP to use Teleporter, Transmitter, and many other things. Hello, I'm here for boss fight. Hello. Hello. I got a blue on this. <laughs> Are we losing to PV already? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna warn you. <laughs> I I'm known for that. I die more to play more to PVE than I do to players. So I'm just letting that be known. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a flex or not. To be honest. We just don't have to spawn in. <laughs> no. Oh well. At least we get the engrams. Well, I do. We can just upload. Oh yeah. Uh, I forgot you. Oh yeah. For all right. All all you three sit in the in the stomach. Okay, Mr. Boss. And then came the absolute annihilation of Rockwell. We had three of us sitting at the belly and one of us sitting at the back. And we just started melting down each one of his tentacles and then obviously doing DPS to him. Shoot him quick! Same! We all did quick! <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, Alright, where's the 4x note? Yeah, you, you get basically everything. Oh. Okay. The only thing you guys aren't gonna have is tech turret and gen, I think. And just like that, we had finished Rockwell and got on our tribe most of the tech engrams. Now, Aberration does give quite a few of the best ones, being tech rifle, force field, Jenny, and teleporter. You also get the likes of a cloning chamber and some of the tech gear, but to be honest, the most important ones I needed we now had, which meant we could go raiding. Okay. I feel like I haven't exactly uh, showed off the base yet. Much at all, to be honest. I haven't exactly done anything for it. Obviously, I just, well, I just joined mid-wipe, now part of the server. Kind of my own server, kind of not. I... You know, I'm on the team. But, um... What do I show, man? I don't know. This, the, 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 These spooky dinos. Yes, very very much. We have chickens. We have uh, giant scoobies. We have... Uh... 
uh, ovens and uh, I, just, I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is basically the base. It was about time I'd be useful though, as other than doing the boss fight, I hadn't done anything yet. So to prepare ourselves for a raid that was upcoming, I would need to hatch myself and get myself a bunch of different tames. Okay, let's do one. I think it twins. Don't know. Okay, two stegos done. Nice. What HP do we pop out with? Seven point two. Uh, Seven point three. That's not too bad. We got decent stegos. Not that I've done anything towards them. <laughs> That's so bad. I've got to farm these guys metal. God, that velo's aggressive. Bro needs to chill. <gasps> That's so cool. The color. Oh, connect. Hello. There's still a UT in there still. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like a light blue turquoise thing. I have to 100% imprint this. There's not. I can't not. Oh, almost forgot. I can't leave just yet. How long my baby's got? You got five minutes. You got four, four, uh, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for all their imprints and then I can go. How long you two got? You two should be the closest yet. Okay. Most of them are eating on their own now, which is fine. I don't think the Wivens will need milk. Once all the babies and everything was under the control though, I grabbed myself a taming kit and went straight over to Genesis 1, where I knew I would be able to find as many anglerfish as I needed. Okay, not the most common place people go looking for, um... I forgot what they're called now. Anglerfish, but I find Gen 1 to be one of uh, my favourite biomes. Mainly because you can just find swarms of them all together, and they're all pretty decently leveled as well, so... You can find them in groups just around here. Oh, look, and there's one here already. Level 20. You know what? I'm literally going to tame every single one I see. And so commence the big taming of anglerfish. I then finished it off by taming myself a juicy 150 angler, and then I went straight over to Crystal Isles, as that has by far the best silica point farming in the game. Or one of them. Lucky for you guys though, I'm not going to show much of the uh, silica pile run, as we have some more important things to show in this video, and uh, I don't have enough time to fit it all into one thing, so let's go. Now, lucky for you guys, and as Pat is going to make very clear, Today, we are raiding Ab Cave on Fjorda. Not that hard of a spot to raid, but if defended well, it can take hours upon hours. Hey man. <laughs> oh, this is like... It really is endgame arc, that thing. Well, it should be. And, uh, controller too, I can do this. I can upload it to itself. What? <laughs> That's yeah. fine. <laughs> the Strider, man. How did that make it through? I guess they just didn't yeah. think about PvP. They never do. No, they never do. You're right. You're right. Uh, on that one, those two techs on the top left are going to be a problem because I'm getting hit by them. Might be able to angle it once I soak this one with my tail or something. Yeah. Now, this was the first of many death pools of this base, and we needed to soak a few turrets so we could get a crab up, angle it right, and launch one straight in the wall, dropping the entire thing. And once we had launched around three stegos in there, we finally had enough room <laughs> to be able to push up. Just looking at this now, looking back at this, actually looks like a, uh, a slaughter zone, bro. We shouldn't have lost that many stegos to this, this wall. As we continued soaking, we could keep pushing further and further and further until we were basically in the base. We used the tech rex also to peek at the corner and drop a bunch of the turrets just to save some time. It's oh, oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, they actually had uh, 1k bullets in that, 1k in that. Um, here, let me go grab my kit. Yeah, get ready. 
For any of you that have raided Abcave before though, you would know this is literally only the first of many walls. And the next one is at that one bridge out of Lord of the Rings. Who's getting launched in there on a stego? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? I'm not the best thrower, so I'll, I'll volunteer as tribute. I'll volunteer as tribute as well. If you see my stego throws, you'll kick me. <gasps> that, mean, that means I have to throw, because Slasher trying to throw is even worse. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, so much for the, uh, the tribe of best PvPers, Pat. You can't expect me to be doing stego throwing. Instead of going for stego throwing, though, with a crab, instead, we would just walk along the dark ramp on the side. But without an eye and eye or something, you cannot see up here, so, uh, don't put gamma up in the comments. Yeah, I took a lot of damage from that, believe me. I'm coming up, hopefully, if I get in the Rex Save me, Pat! <laughs> okay, well, I think I survived. I think I survived. I'm on 6k. He's trying, dude. Berg, one of the heavies. One more. No, another heavy gone. I think I'm good. I don't another think I'll die. Gone. I think I out heal now. You good? Yeah, I got. I broke the heavies I needed to break. Nice. All right, I'll back more. You're the one shooting the wrecks. I'll back more up. I'm gonna. Just give me one second. I'm gonna move in. There's a few more I can break. Okay. I can soak these. I'm good. Oh yeah, I see them. I'm probably gonna die, but. Yeah, I think you will die. Oh no. Well worth it. Nice. Yeah, just thought it's cry upon that slasher and then jump. Oh well. <laughs> Worth it. Lot, yeah. Can we go over the back behind that bubble? Let me shoot the tech bubble. Yeah, now. Oh. Oh my Don't God, hit me. You're hitting quick. me. You're hitting me. You're hitting me. The bubble's down. That's why I was getting shot. Okay. Is that the Jenny? Yeah, I'm in here with it. Nice. Is that the whole Jenny for the entire thing? Should be. Ooh, careful. Oh, my God. Yeah, careful. Down. Down? Are those turrets still up? Yeah, I think so. Unless they're bugged with her. Okay, no, they're powered by the one inside. Oh, yeah, yeah they're on. Oh, I, I can see the entrance. Mini vault drop door. Pretty big. Now nah, we'd breeze through this. We don't have to spend too much time on this death wall though, as it was pretty straightforward. We just soaked enough, and then one of us rushed in on a stego and dropped the entire thing. And then we was onto the third death wall of yeah, this base. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh, he's a, he's. I guess he's okay of a player. Yeah, he's alright. I figured he was dead. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't even think he'd make it halfway. I guess it helps that there is only one tag. Yeah. <laughs> How much ammo? Oh, okay. We can put this in our main wall. There's like... Ah, actually, yeah. 3k bullets in most. What's behind this? Should I be worried? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you should. There's definitely another wall. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, let me pick up the ammo first. Let me pick up the... Let me pick up the ammo. No, 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 no we're, we, we can blow this before we get shot. Okay. No, there's one tag on the other side. Two. Why are you guys fighting a tech toe? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're both gonna die. Uh, I could not overpower it, dude. I, think... I was trying to soak for you. I, no, I, I think I might have. Beer. Right here. We have a beer. No, right this is just, just so you guys know. This is the main checkpoint of like the whole cave. This is like the whole part you defend very well. So. Okay. Well, yeah, he's just sitting behind the heavy. I don't know what he's doing. Once we're in that room, it's it's easy from there. But this is the hardest part. As Pat just made it very clear, we have finally reached the main choke point of this entire raid. The hardest point to take. So, we will need all of us now to be trying to soak on our stegos and push through. And with the tribe also logging online now, it would be even harder. How did I get damage there? <laughs> Good question, I didn't take damage. <laughs> well, yeah, I literally I took damage, how?
So do I also see him standing there with a flamethrower like, looking at his tech turret? <laughs> oh no, he's coming now. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I think, he, I think he's confused. Just watching his base get wiped like, yeah, this is <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> How do I handle this situation? We need, uh, what's it called again? I gotta crawl up a wall, don't I? Probably. Does this kid not own nets or something? Apparently not. Yeah. True. Uh, start pushing foundations if you can. Unless there's mesh ones. I can't imagine the ones with like... You oh, just I do actually... that and I'll keep doing the boom boom. <laughs> just yeah. bully him. I have to get out here in a second though. I just need a launcher and rockets. And some black. Yeah, I need launcher, more launchers. Rockets. There's something here. Try something to the wall. Can't push closer past this point. There's something above me. Bleed this other velo real fast and then we'll be good. Does someone want to shoot his uh, stalker out by the way? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he's playing like this. Um, curious if that goes dead. Yeah, yeah. Cool. figured. Well, I, I try, I unnetted it, and all their turrets are on players only. They switched it to low again? Yeah, that's good, because it's about to get fucked. Yeah, please do. We just need to get re-netted and get our time back, and then we can do the push. Oh, he's changing them. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, ow, 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 ow. ow. I can't back up. Okay, well, I'm still alive. Yeah, he netted me. What's going on? I don't know what these guys are doing, man. They're just throwing flashbangs, shooting nets at us, like, running around in circles. It's, the, it's always the ones that, like, never actually kill you or, like, try to kill you that are the fucking worst. Like, yeah, they're just going to let us be here, but they're just going to annoy us while we're here. <laughs> That's literally it. That's all they're doing right now. It's on aggressive. Oh, uh, just swing the bit. Yeah, they've given up. Have they? I don't oh, think they have. I think they're giving up on this thing. Yeah, that's dead. Alright, All right, so make here. Oh, I'm being melted, bro. I got 15 levels from that, thank you. Me too. I got five. Hello, Nat, can you cut? Thank you. Yeah, I can see the box from here. Can I reach it? I'm too low. I think I'm hitting it. I think so, yeah. Looks like it. I don't have a spyglass. No, I don't know. I'll just see if it drops it sometime soon. It's cave damage though, right? This thing should drop pretty yeah. fast. Our ammo box is down. Got it. Nice. There's a bag there as well, so it definitely had stuff in it. They didn't pick up the ammo box bag, by the way, so... I'm pretty sure they got off. Both of them just log? It is quite odd. Nice, finally, man. It's basically done. Missed that last hatch room. Yeah, one more and a few floor heavies, and that's it. There we go. Can't believe it took this long. Oh, now whatever they've got left. Oh, yo, yo. How much ammo did this thing have? Where is it? Oh, they didn't actually have lots. 
A little bit. One sec. I wonder if I can take a little peek through the hole and see what he's got. Yeah, Hello? the wall's kind of far back. You can. If it's oh, yeah, so I see all their ND forges and stuff in there. I mean, <laughs> late game arc oh, rating really? still sucks as much as it did when I stopped playing, so. Not much has changed. Yeah, there, magma saws. I see, yeah, I see there are the turret wall over there in the corner. Yeah, no, look, they have a TP here. And a whole little crafting area. Yeah, I'm clear, drop it. Did it drop? Is the server lagging? <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, you lagged out the server bad. Yeah, well, it dropped, dropped it though. Yeah, there's yeah, this little the circle thing. spiral thing they have up here. We should drop this as well. I want to get grapples to do that now. Yeah, this this wall will be easy, guys. They have striders in the back as well. Oh, and a cloning chamber. And a fire wyvern. Dropping loads of fire wyvern eggs. Yo, thank you. Give me that. Oh my god, guys. I found the oh. dinos. <laughs> Oh, guys. Wow. Time to meet around this base. Nom 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 nom. Oh, it's too laggy. I can't nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Oh, it's too laggy. I might, I might be dead here. No. Oh. What's happening? We're, lag oh, we're lagging. Cool. We're lagging the server, guys. Yep. Now, with this entire meat run basically being arc lag evolved, mainly because the entire thing was made out of wood, and when we would go to bite and eat something, it would break all of them and the things below and the dinos would drop, and therefore it just created a lag loop where, because we were on the Carcharodontosauruses, it wasn't helping our favour because they break wood as well as uh, when they walk. So I'm going to skip this part and just, uh, yeah, go to, go to the soaking. Okay, um, what, what, why am I being absolutely violated by everything known to man? I don't want to bite because we might fall through the floor. Oh. Did I bite? Did I just kill no, them? Not yet. I'm being hit by Therias, doing a bit of damage. I might have to start biting, you know? Down, down. down? Nice, okay, I'll start biting. Yeah. Break Laggy time. Do, 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 do. Kill everything inside. Two reps, a deadie with 72k bullets in them. Can't open these. Can someone come break these? Actually, I'll just do it with the thingy. Game's dying again, just so you know. Yeah, you keep breaking stuff. It's lagging the server up. I got jumped. Have the wall gone. Uh, oh, okay. Oh my god. Let me on, let me on, let me on. Oh. Guys, there's gonna be more lag. I'm sorry. I'm getting jumped. I'm getting jumped too. <laughs> okay, now I can check his tech reps. Uh, nothing. And just a bunch of simple pistol. Oh, we got some melee. Check the tech. There's nothing in there. Nah, nothing important. Can, if someone can, can someone come take these bullets? Yeah. I'll try and take as much as I can. Oh, dude, there's no turrets on this end bit. Well, from what I can see, there's like eight. Have a look, there's barely any. And finally, we reached the last death wall of this base. Not even the biggest, but it was the only one out of all the death walls that had every turret capped, meaning soaking this thing was going to take a very long time. Keep going in. 
You got a rocket launcher for these bear traps? Uh, I could break them, where are they? Just to the right of me. They're gone? No, they're still there. Well, yeah, you're right. You. I'll save it, don't worry. <laughs> Someone got rockets in, give me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you got rockets in, give me. Uh, no, I have none. Don't worry, you guys got this. I'm just wearing broken gear, so I'm gonna watch. <laughs> you got that easy? Yeah, you already there, bro. Oh, oh my god, it turned and shot me. Finally. <laughs> We're here, goodbye base. I'm in. <laughs> Hello. Wait. Is that main base? Ow, oh, ow, there's ow, more. Ow. Where, what you shot you? Where was it? I don't know, but I'm looting this guy. I see him, I see him. <laughs> I took his body. Do, do, I have gear now. I'm getting up there. Oh, right, gear. Ah, There's a lot of internals, guys, bro. Guys, that tech gen. What? What? That tech gen is to the right. You can see it as you enter. Hey. We are back. Oh, where's all the loot? I need to see everything. It's going to be in these vaults right here. I don't have a debt, but I've seen I, four. What is this, bro? <laughs> I'm strapping. Oh, okay. I uh, I just well, go easy, go easy, go easy. Because if you blow it all... Guys, they have yeah. so many cryofridges. What? Oh, this makes me excited. <gasps> uh, a tech trough full of brews, bro. That would work on me. No, uh, here, look at that one. Look at that one. Hey, John. Oh. Oh, cakes. Oh, you blew the vaults. Ah. Work trans. Oh. Trans is full of tech. Wait, oh my god, stop sending me everywhere. Woo! Let me look. That vault oh. Looks empty. oh, is that tech suit? Yeah, I'm taking that. Tech. Where's tech? Oh, tech sword. You know what? I just had you taking all Yeah, just take it. What does uh, matter? What's on the sign? We'll see it back at base anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna set up a whole vault dump station. Bro, they got. Like... They got crafting recipes on wooden signs down here. Ooh. <laughs> Look. Where's their daddy wall? Do they not have daddy? Right here, under the rep. Fridges just have know. berries in them. Oh, kibble. The mannequin just had loads of prim stego saddles. Nice. <laughs> 90 element, two indie forges. A metal tree platform. I mean, Profit. it's just... None of these vaults have... Literally anything in them? Uh, did they pop gone, do you think? Well, I don't know. But the vaults that I've blown so far have nothing. Nothing. Uh, anything? I mean, the transmitter had some stuff. Uh, this vault had just flak and cryopod oh. and tools. Oh, stuff. we got a mega shalon saddle and 70 element. Oh, nice suits. combo. I will take that. And a vault full of fertilizer. <laughs> I did not stay up to 2 a.m. for this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this is really unfortunate. No, there's got to be some stuff, bro. I don't believe it. These guys are too rich. Unless they've despawned it. This one's called structure. You know what? If you have like 400 tech foundations, I'll take it. Well, fun fact, I blew up some of their cryofishes and they were empty, so if these are all empty too, I'm going to be a bit suspicious. A bit more than usual, yeah. you know? I'm going to drop these, actually, real quick. Yeah. Screw the rest. Boop. Show me... Oh! Anything? Hello? Bag? No, you can... You're not... <sighs> Ow. I think both of their reps were empty. Oh, I found some car fridges. I got throwaway. I got just basically the throwaway fridge. Okay. How about this one? Oh, no, I actually got a fridge for the Thames. Bad move. Nice. I got a fridge for the Thames. Uh, we got their Stego line. We got their gas bag line. We got their Rhino line. Magma saws. Some blood stalkers. We actually got quite a lot, to be honest. In the end, we went through nearly four death walls, 
to get nothing. We got one page full of cryopods and they weren't even good ones. It was mostly just their throwaways. Most of their good stuff, either they despawned and popcorned or they put in their transmitter. We'll never know, sadly, but um, we went through four death walls for nothing, basically. Once again though, even though the wipe is a few weeks away, if you do want to come join Midwipe now and try and wipe me, just remember to use my link in the description and uh, come hit up Vanquished. Remember, if you go and open up a ticket and just put the blur starter kit thing, you can also get your file for free starter kit if you're in the first 100 people. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in episode 2, which I'll probably release in a day or two, depending on uh, how fast I can edit content. But take care everyone, and I will see you in the next episode. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm